Howdy folks, Max Caveman here, bringing you back to Not For Trade, a series where I open up various TCG products, trying to build the most expensive folder that I can, as if I was a kid building up their first collection. Now, as you can see in front of me today, I have an Iron Valiant EX box. Uh, this is a very nice way to get the Iron Valiant, seeing as that is one of the more chase EXs from the set um, so let's crack this open and see what we can get uh, like always let me just give a quick recap as to last week uh, in the last episode i managed to get four cards uh, i thought i would have got more however certain cards had um that would have been in the folder simply didn't make it in in because of the version it was. If it was the reverse hollow version, things would have been different. Okay, so we get uh, uh, the uh, wind up making it in was the two Golisopods, the Bombardier, and the Toad Scroll. So that was quite interesting. Uh, so we do get four packs in total here. One Paldea Evolved, an Obsidian Flames, and then two Paradox Rift. But we do also get the uh, three promo cards. So we get the Cosmic Foil printing of Iron Moth, a Cosmic Foil Future Booster Energy Capsule, and then the alternate printing for Iron Valiant EX. So, this is nice to pick up. I haven't gotten an Iron Valiant yet, so it is good. Uh, so, I'm going to go through these packs in release order. So, let's start with Paldea Evolved. I feel like Paldea is one of the sets that have the best cards to start if you're playing if you're looking to start playing now get Paldea um, and Scarlet Violet base so let's see what we can get we've got a Wingull, Pineco, Tinker Tink, Mankey, Miss Magius, and a Bramblegast, Superior Energy Retrieval that's very nice we've got a Krogunk, a Knackley and the very annoying Mimikyu uh, one pack of Obsidian Flames up now. Okay, so we got a Chuckadet, Ponyard, Lillipup, Crabrawler, Vengeful Punch, we've got a Skarmory, Sharpedo, Baltoy. Well, <laughs> we are having some serious luck with the gold energies of as of late. We got the gold fire energy. And a clay doll. So that is something special. Um, I believe it's sitting at about seven dollars at the moment, so that's good. Uh, so we have two packs of Paradox Rift now. Okay, so we have a Yamask, Spinder, Tinker Tink, Tandem Mouse, a Technical Machine Evolu De sorry, Devolution, Exploud, Mella, Masquerain, Miltank, and an Age of Slash. So, final pack here. Okay, so we got a Surskit. Flamigo, Magby, Porygon, Durant, a Technical Machine Turbo Energize, Wugtrio, got a Simapore, Honedge, and a Ting Lu. So that was a bit of a subpar opening. Um, out of this, I have a feeling only two cards will make it into the folder today. Um, 
I believe this is about a $7 card, and I'm not sure how much this version of Iron Valiant is going for. But if it's something similar to the regular, then it should have a couple dollars added to it. Um, the only things in here that might be worth it are maybe some of the reverse hollows. Um, stuff from that, nothing too special in this video. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you'll join me next time where I'm going to be opening up the Roaring Moon box. Um, but that's it for this time. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time. See ya.